I can even hold it open and read like this. Okay. Can I do this? <laughs> sure. Is this okay? Uh, so chapter two. Call Me Max, book one in the Max and Friends early chapter book series. Written with warmth and sensitivity by trans writer Kyle Lukoff, this book is a sweet and age-appropriate introduction to what it means to be transgender. So, Max, this kiddo, yeah. is a transgender boy, and I'm a man now, but I'm also transgender in the same way. And I feel really invested in my community. Like, most of my friends are trans. Like, a lot of my life revolves around that community. And it is really exciting to get to write books about not kids like me, but people that I know in my community. Publishers Weekly says, writing in an empathetic, conversational style, Lukoff offers an upbeat portrait of what's possible. The teacher called out our names. Emery, here. Stella, me. I raised my hand when she got to my name. She looked at me, and then back at the list of names, and then back at me again. I wondered if she thought my name didn't make sense for me. I felt that way too. Can you call me Max? I asked. Max is the boy in my favorite book. She nodded and wrote it down. I won't tell you what my old name was, that's private. School Library Journal writes, this is an excellent and potentially groundbreaking publication choice as an early reader title with a trans protagonist. A welcome title for classrooms, libraries, and PFLAG and other support organizations collections. I came out when I was much older. I didn't know that I was trans until I was already in college. And Max is like five or six years old, so there's that difference. But I think it's really important to be an openly trans person writing books for kids so that all kinds of kids can see that no matter who they are, they can grow up to be writers and artists and just adults in the world where that part of their identity isn't something they have to hide, it's not something they have to be ashamed of, and it's also not something that they have to get over or get past or overcome. It can be something that is just a larger part of their life that influences who they are, but doesn't dictate who they have to be. I hope you'll check out this and other Raycraft book titles. Raycraft Books is an imprint dedicated to publishing books by authors and illustrators from underrepresented groups. We support diversity in the First Amendment and celebrate the right to read. Please go to www.raycraftbooks.com. There you'll also find interviews with some of our authors and illustrators. Enjoy!